Welcome back to LF Murr. This is my second part of shadow work and I wanted to start off by saying if you haven't looked at my previous video on authenticity and shadow work, um, I highly recommend it when doing this type of work on yourself. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is angels and demons. Um, so basically, I believe that our angels inside of ourselves and our demons inside of ourselves are both the same prototype or archetype within ourselves. They're both the same person. It's just coming out in different ways. So I believe that our demons are kind of like coming, trying to tell us that um, they're coming in as demons when really they're our angels because they're trying to tell us something. So when we are working with our dark side or our shadow side, it's basically, um, as I said in my previous video, that it's a side of ourselves that has been suppressed. Other psychologists um, have said that it's our primal side or our caveman side, but basically it all comes from the same foundation. It's a side of ourselves that has been suppressed due to wanting acceptance. And so when we think about ourselves, typically people only think of themselves or start out thinking of themselves as either good or bad. So what I don't like about this particular scenario is be, um, basically we are not one or the other. And if you think that you're one or the other, you're going to be very imbalanced. There has to be a yin and there has to be a yang. So when we have something about ourselves that we don't like or as our shadow side, we automatically suppress it or we don't want to think about it. So it goes into our subconscious so that we don't have to think about it anymore. But it keeps coming up. So what do we do? We go on the new diet. We move to a new state. We get in a new relationship. We get on the prescription pills. Um, we take up a new class or whatever, but the same feeling keeps coming up and it's going to get to a point when it's going to be so damaging that you will actually have to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, okay, I can't stop running anymore. What do I need to do to become, have more peace in my life? So let's say, for example, somebody has a dark side or a shadow side of liking negative movies or scary movies or gory movies. And to a one-dimensional perspective, somebody might say, oh, you, you enjoy this because um, you're a dark person. Well, actually, there could be a reason why this person is attracted to gory or scary movies or bloody movies because there's something inside of them that resonates with this movie or this particular book or um, maybe it makes them feel a sense of um, we're on the same page type of thing. So um, a lot of people, when they don't like to recognize their shadow side or dark side, they have a, tend to have a lot of conflict, which causes a lot of pain, and they aren't open about it. And the worst thing that you could be in this life is alone in your own pain. So... That's why it's helpful when working with shadow work is to look at it in a different light. When something our demons are presenting themselves, they are presenting themselves in a way that, hey, I want to be a part of you. This is a time for transformation, if that makes any sense. So another example, I understand that everybody is pretty complex other than watching dark movies. But let's say, for example, there is someone that is attracted or persuaded to toxic people. So this person keeps getting in the same relationship over and over and over again, and it's with the same person, it's just with a different name. And no matter how hard they try, they always end up with the same person. There is something about this toxic person or this these toxic people that resonates with 
what's going on inside. So typically it's kind of a, not only does it have to do with a self-esteem issue probably, but it probably has to do with this person, I don't feel good about myself, so I'm going to be attracted to somebody who's worse or that makes me feel good. And we're still coming back to the same, I want to feel good and I don't want to feel bad. But really, everybody has two sides to them. If any, you meet anybody that says, oh, I'm, I'm a good person, I'm all good, they're lying to you and they're also lying to yourselves and they're probably in denial which is another form of a coping mechanism. Um, so what I have learned along my journey is um, I consider myself a spiritual person and not a religious person. And this is just a preference to me because what I find in religion um, that I think people might notice or might not, but in my experience, religion only teaches you to think good thoughts, to be good, um, and it really makes people a very imbalanced person. Um, what someone might think is good and what someone might think is bad is different for everybody. So, um, when I'm working with the dark side or the shadow side when I see something that I don't like about myself I'm automatically going to be able to see it in other people so once I am okay with my demons inside or working with somebody that is not okay with their demons and you know you're automatically going to be at more at peace with everyone around you because whatever you're resisting inside, you're going to see it in other people. And if you notice, if you have more peace with yourself, you're going to have more peace with other people. So sometimes it's another way of looking at this is a part of myself that I'm having trouble with. Let's see if we can transform it into something that is positive or something that... Um, I can really re help make me a stronger person or a better person. Um, these are just two examples that I've thought of on the top of my head, but I understand that everybody is complex and everybody has a different dark or shadow side, but it's really not anything to be ashamed of and you should view it as your friend and not your enemy. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.